Hi, welcome to People and Pets Facebook Live on Wednesday morning. Uh, thanks for joining us again on a second edition of our Facebook Live video. Today's question is, what kind of pet loss counselling do you do? Is my experience relevant to pet loss? And the answer is most likely yes, yes, we can help you no matter what kind of experience of pet loss you've experienced. My name is Mike O'Donoghue and I've been a vet for 25 years and 10 years ago we set up the People and Pet Pet Loss Counselling to help people through the trauma and the grief of losing a pet. So yeah, we've had a great response to our first Facebook Live and lots of questions and that seems to be the strongest uh, question we've had is, is my experience still really uh, relevant to, do you provide counselling for my experience? And so I can say, yes, we do. We really can help you with your experience. So the first um, question we often get is, um, my, is my dog still alive? Is that, my dog is still alive. Um, can we help? Yes, yes, this is really important. If you've um, been given a diagnosis of, a terminal diagnosis about your dog, they've been told your dog has cancer, has diabetes, it has some terrible physical injury, but your dog is still alive. Well, you will experience tremendous amount of grief and uncertainty, um, and pet loss counselling is so appropriate at this moment. Uh, you have to work out, how long do I keep my pet alive for? Uh, is this okay to keep my pet going? Uh, it's a very, upsetting experience and pet loss counselling can really help you in this time. We might even call this anticipatory grief, but the grief you're feeling is true and alive and we're here to help you through that. Uh, so talking to your vet can be a really important task as well, uh, but our counsellors can also help you with uh, determining when is the right time to let go and managing your own emotions through this very traumatic experience in letting your dog or pet go. Uh, the next question uh, that we get asked is, um, uh, well, my pet is not a dog or a cat. So, um, this is also a really important question. If you own a bird or a reptile, a snake, a little furry creature like a mouse, a rabbit, a guinea pig, um, yes, these experiences are just as valid. If you have a strong bond with a pet, uh, it's just as important to receive pet loss counselling. The bond is real, the bond is strong, and it's suddenly you've lost it. Uh, the, uh, you know, the grief can be, is strong, and you can and will need some help in the grief process. So this is what our counsellors are here for. Uh, we also have a new counsellor on board, uh, Tabitha Lane. She is from Sydney and she is a, um, a, a reptile lover. She has her own pet python and so she has a lot of direct own experience with reptiles and reptile owners. So if you're looking for a, a reptile um, pet loss counsellor, Tabitha Lane, is our new counsellor. She's based in Sydney and she is a python owner. So it may be that Tabitha is the person to talk to if you've lost a, uh, a snake. Uh, the third question we've had this week is, uh, what if my dog is a therapy, a therapy animal? Um, can you help with that? And yes, absolutely. We really get that if your pet or your dog is a huge part of your life, well, the grief is very complicated. The grief is tremendous. You've had this bond uh, of immense importance to your life. You know, this dog is not just a companion, but it's helping you function in this physical world. Well, the grief would be tremendous, and our counsellors really get this. They can really help you understand your emotions and through this significant event. Uh, the fourth kind of pet loss is also uh, one of the most difficult ones is if your pet has been taken away by the RSPCA or the council. Uh, this is very upsetting. Um, uh, you've loved your pets and you think you've been doing a great job, but the RSPCA or the council has come in and 
taken your pets from you because they've said that you haven't been doing a good job. Uh, this is very upsetting and would make you an angry, it could certainly make you angry about why has this happened? You feel like the world is against you. Well, absolutely, uh, grief and loss counselling is so important that you know our counsellors can really help you in this time. So um, we have counsellors that can help you with all these kind of situations. The only thing is that some are some limits to what a pet loss counsellor can do. Uh, pet loss counselling or pet loss can often bring up a whole lot of other issues. Um, and sometimes we might need to refer you on to a psychiatrist or a psychologist for further help. If you have serious psychological conditions or illnesses, uh, that's when they might refer you on. But they'll know who to put you in touch with. So the counsellors are always a great starting point. And pet loss is often a trigger to bring out a lot of undiagnosed or um, unthought through conditions. And so pet loss counselling is often a great start to help you in your own healing through your own journey in life. Uh, so we have counsellors all across Australia in most of our capital cities. We have them in Brisbane, we've got them in Sydney, um, Adelaide, Melbourne, Perth and uh, also Hobart. So we have counsellors all across Australia and always looking for new counsellors. So if you're a counsellor, you're welcome to join our team. Uh, but we have counsellors now also in New Zealand, so in Christchurch and in Hamilton. Um, so both in Australia and New Zealand, uh, we're always looking to expand our services. So if you're grieving the loss of a pet, or if you know someone who's grieving the loss of a pet, uh, have a look at our website, www.petsandpeople.com.au or give us a ring on our hotline, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The number is 1300 431 450. Or if you know someone, uh, comment, leave them a tag, tag them in the comment section and they might be able to uh, respond or like this video as well. So thanks again for listening to People and Pets Facebook Live. Thanks very much.